Hello guys, welcome to the topic of antihistamines once again. Previously, we have discussed about uh, H1 antihistamines. Now, in this particular video, I am going to talk about H2 antihistamines. Right? Not only that, like previous video, we also have to discuss about their mechanisms, uses, side effects and important considerations. So, H2 antihistamines are essential for managing acid-related gastrointestinal conditions. So, not like H1 which we are using for like allergic reactions. H2 antihistamines are mainly used for managing acid-related gastrointestinal conditions. So, we know that H2 antihistamines obviously target H2 receptors. And these H2 receptors are found on the gastric parietal cells in the stomach. So, normally when histamines bind to these receptors, it activates the GS protein coupled pathway which is stimulatory leading to increase in the cyclic AMP levels which obviously activates the protein kinase A and there will be phosphorylation of ATP ACE pump and this pump is responsible for secreting gastric acid, right? So what is the function of H2 blockers here? H2 blockers like ranitidine, famotidine, nizatidine, cimetidine work mainly by competitively and reversibly blocking these H2 receptors, thereby there will be reducing gastric acid secretion. So these drugs make them effective in the conditions where excess acid production is problematic for the patients. So by this we know what are the clinical uses, right? The clinical uses of H2 antihistamines are primarily related to their acid suppressing effects. Therefore, they are commonly used for peptic ulcers, mainly to reduce the hydrochloric acid production and also promote healing. And GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, to alleviate symptoms caused by the acid reflux. And gastritis, mainly to reduce inflammation of the stomach lining. And also in the anaphylactic shock, where they are used alongside with H1 antihistamines, mainly to block the complete histamine effects on both of these receptors, right? So these are the clinical uses. Now let's talk about the side effects which are most commonly associated with the cimetidine. While other H2 blockers like ranitidine and famotidine rarely cause issues. So mainly let us discuss about the cimetidine only because this is the drug uh, usually they ask in the exams. So cimetidine has several notable side effects guys. It has an anti-androgenic effect causing erectile dysfunction, gynecomastia and low libido in men due to its ability to increase prolactin levels. So that's why it is much problematic. It inhibits the cytochrome P450 enzyme leading to drug interactions with the medications like clopidogrel. So it can also cross the blood-brain barrier leading to headaches, dizziness and confusion especially in the elderly patients. So, cimetidine and ramitidine also reduce renal creatinine excretion which could affect the kidney function in some cases. And uh, also remember guys that H2 antihistamines have some relative contraindications particularly with the cimetidine. They should be used cautiously during pregnancy and lactation due to the potential and placental transfer and their effect on the infant. So, finally here I want to tell an interesting point to remember about uh, H2 blockers that H2 blockers are most effective when taken before meals as the help suppress the acid secretion that typically follows eating. So this is what we need to know about the H2 receptor blocking agents.